<laughs> it's Friday and it's time for a Friday vlog. I think that I get the honor and privilege of being here with Judy Peterson out of North Park University, um, a seminary in Chicago. And um, today's super interesting because uh, for most of you guys that maybe know or don't know, social media is part and parcel of my life. I handle social media for the A21 campaign. I personally have Twitter, Facebook, blog, a number of things. Um, and I was got, got a chance to speak to Judy about her perspective on social media and what it looks like for her. And I think I would love to outwork that in today's vlog. So it's not my own personal opinion, it's something so different. So Judy, can you share a little bit of what you shared with me? Um, my personal convictions about uh, media and um, using social media uh, to communicate with people, which is even funny for me to do a vlog because I just don't communicate this way, uh -huh. is that uh, because of my deep beliefs in the incarnation as the core of the Christian faith, that God said it wasn't uh, as good to remain far off, but indeed he wanted to put on skin and come very, very close, that uh, at any turn I tend to choose the physical incarnated way of interacting rather than being online. Now that doesn't mean I could interact with way more people and be more present with them online, but I would have to ignore the people that are currently present with me in a very simple way. I'm not going to be blogging with somebody when my husband's in the room. I'd prefer to be fully present with the person's actually there. And so, um, and because I'm a university pastor at North Park University, I find this absolute um, tension with my students that because they spend so much time with people who aren't actually with them on campus, they're absolutely totally lonely even though there's a total community on campus, but they never learn to connect with them because they continue to connect with people that actually aren't incarnated. Wow. Okay, so um, that, from a very theological and deep perspective, um, is convicting on a number of levels. But one of the things that you had mentioned in, in kind of that relation and um, being in community with people and how social media is thwarting, if not blocking that, now what? Yeah, it's an interesting thing because, um, and uh, so Newsweek, you should read the Newsweek article from this week, but it actually talks about how uh, social media is rewiring our brains. And so, um, and there's a great book called Flickering Mind that talks about, uh, it's a secular book, but he says that knowledge can be gained in sound bites and glances, but uh, intelligence requires a sustained look in one direction. And so he says we're about to become the most knowledgeable, least intelligent generation that's ever walked this planet because we don't have the ability to sustain a look in one direction. So in the how-to sort of thing I would say is what does it look like for you to be aware of how long you could sustain a look or a conversation in one direction um, are you bored with somebody after they go into a story are you nodding to get them to talk faster because you're so impatient to check your phone are you excited every time a text message signal goes off or somebody posts in your Facebook or whatever do you long for that over real life people well I'm gonna I'm gonna say you might want to look at whether or not that's actually a faithful way to be a follower of Jesus Oh, that is good. And lastly, lastly, you had mentioned something, and I just feel like it's important to know. You had said something about you asked your students to take 40 days off um, without engaging with people, following, liking, retweeting. Do you remember telling me that? That it's yeah. so easy to put something out there and have people engage and comment on that. Do you remember that conversation, and can you kind of bring this light once again? Well, I, I would say that um, I'm always challenging students to go off it, and a lot of times they have a hard time with it because there are good things with it, and, and that's how they communicate with their parents or their friends. Um, but, but if you take 40 days off of that, uh, one of the things is it totally builds community. So if you had a 40-day fast from technology, you did not... Uh, yeah text with your kids, do any of that sort of text with your friends, but anytime you had the possibility to and wanted to connect with them, you actually walked over and made the effort. So I just walk to the dorms rather than text students and go um, over there. But it is an amazing thing how much it, it um, people come to faith, people come uh, <laughs> to community. Uh, like most people that come to my office that aren't Christians, it takes about three hours of listening to them. And they're like, I want this. What is this? I'm like, oh, this is the incarnation. This is Jesus putting on flesh. And they're like, I want that. All it took was for me to be fully present for, um, for an hour. I just think the challenge is, is what does it look like for you to be fully present and not miss out on your real life while you're living a digital life on top of it? Perfect. Thank you so much. We're going to open it up for questions or comments. And um, Judy, 
is course of course is not on social media, but you do write. A you blog. can't find me. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you write a blog for the campus? Yes. Yeah. A funny thing. I uh, just random thing about the blog. They asked if they could do a, if I would do a blog, and I said um, no. I absolutely don't have time to respond to that. I have too many real life people that I'm trying to be in relationship with, and they said, well, it could be non responsive. People can just write. You don't have to respond. And I'm like, people can handle that in their psyche. I can't handle that. I don't need other people's opinions of me um, making influencing my opinions about myself. I listen to God. I write what I write. But if you're interested in reading what I write, it is on the North Park University website. And um, you can just go under Pastor Judy's blog. Awesome. It's not really a blog, so they're lying. Because it's only <laughs> Pastor Judy's writing. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Judy. Love your opinion. Yep.